Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Michael KE4EST and I'm back here with this IT11. Kind of like a supplemental video. I'll probably call this like part 1B or something. Kind of show you what's going on right here. And first thing I want to do, let me move this over just a little bit. See that back there? I noticed this and I was editing the first video. I don't want somebody to say, oh, so they're sponsoring now or something, but no, this ain't, this isn't a sponsor now, if this was some kind of like actual piece of card stock or something, you'd probably think, mm-hmm, yeah, he's full of crap, but you can see it's just a sticker they send you. If you're not familiar, RNL Electronics makes amateur radio stuff, and they stuck that in the last thing I got, and I usually ain't one to stick stickers all over everything, but... I thought, well, I'll just throw it over there. I didn't think anything about it, but <laughs> it was in the background there, so I don't want to think somebody's like, oh, so RNL's supporting you there. So, so no, um, just happened to be sticking up there. I just thought it was kind of funny. All right, so here's where I'm at. I've pulled the face off. I've got some of the capacitors changed out. This big pasture went right here. And what they've done, it goes to this switch or this potentiometer here. And there was a when it was together sitting in here. There's a brown wire come off of it. Went over here, went across, over to this tie point here. And it come in just a little more. Over this tie point right here you know, and on into the capacitor and then the other side goes down to this well zoom out let me just bring this let me zoom back in and show you and my throat is getting pollen is getting to me a little bit and the weather changing here and be warm one day and cold the next day part of what well, around here they call dogwood winter right here you can see where i clipped it off right there it goes to there so what i'm going to replace that with is this right here you can see this is a this was a two microfarad at 200 volts and this is a 225k so that's 2.2 microfarad at 250 volts and maybe you can't see there you go and that'll be sitting in over here and go to the switch and then over to this potentiometer when it's sitting in place there. Um, I've pulled out, tested this tube, this diode, it tests really good, the 6AX4. I just threw it in there real quick just to test it. Changed out some of these capacitors. I think I've got those two left, those two electrolytics and the two microfarad, 2.2 I'm going to replace it with. It's got to go there. So that's where I'm at right there. Um, I pulled all these off. I'm working on cleaning these up. It goes in the front there. And let me show you. The, here's what I've got on this. I went through and cleaned this with the mild detergent really carefully. As I learned years ago, if you ain't careful, you'll take off this letter and you think, well, I'll really get something in there. I'll clean this sucker. But you still see these here. It looks like there's something on it, but it's not. It's where there's corrosion started to happen underneath here. And it was corroding through the paint and making those little bubbly places or whatever. And I've cleaned it up, but what you're seeing through there is the aluminum. You know, this here. Um, and you see how it's kind of a goldish aluminum here so it looks like they've sprayed on this gray and then the you know the slight gray and then the dark gray somehow way they you know when they put this on here and you see how this gold is here that's of course it's gold on the back so and you can see kind of like that line of the pointer here so wherever this was stored at somehow 
some kind of weird chemical reaction or something with the sun hitting through that piece of plastic. <clears throat> Somehow it's caused that, so there's that. But this is, uh, this ain't perfect, but hey, it's looking a lot better than it was. So that'll work. I mean, it worked for me. It's not going to be a shelf queen. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else? I'm going to show you something else in this video. I'll probably call this video like part 1B or something like this, a supplemental video. Because it's kind of hard to set a camera up and solder and show, move the camera and do some solder and move this. Get the, Make sure the camera's right before you're trying to unsolder something or whatever. So I thought maybe you guys would want to see if I just kind of show a little bit as I went through it here. Um... I'm just pit. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. So I'm just kind of killing time here because I don't want to end the video yet. These screws on the front. Here's one I'm not cleaned yet. You see how. Let me bring this in. How rusty looking that is. And I was thinking about painting these or something. I think I'm just. I went over these. Here's one I went over. Still got to get the center. What I'll do with that is take one of these things here. You can dial it out. This is like a steel wool. And you can get them, you know, it's got brass or like a nylon bristles or fiber or glass or different things, you know, for clean contacts and stuff. This is real good to just roll that out a little bit and you see it's been used. Just get down in there. It's kind of hard to show this way I want to. Get down in there and just have to work it. It's starting to clean up. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it already looks better. And just work it some more. Just keep going back and forth over it. Now look at there. Almost all the rust is gone. Just have to keep doing that to clean it up. And it don't hurt to take hit with a little bit of this. That there. Look at that now. That cleaned that right up. You know, if you're going to leave it like that, you know, it's got the some patina on it but you know it's not going new hardware if this was a lot better more I could really clean this up make it look almost factory new I would probably get some stainless hardware and replace all this stuff with stainless hardware but since it ain't I'm gonna just go that route and what I do show you what I do take this this is some 320 and I set it down here like this here you can't really see it but I rub it across it and see and start taking that off I'll just hold this down hand you know so it don't flop all around with me one hand take the other hand I go around like that. Don't forget to turn it and get the edges. See it starts coming off. Can take it on a cloth and wipe off some of that. See it starts already starting to look better. See that? Do a little more and a little more. And hit it with a little bit of very carefully here. A little bit of that. And that's just contact cleaner. Just kind of get in there. Take it to a cloth there. See, it starts looking a whole lot better. That's how I do that. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. So, I thought I'd like to show you guys what's going on halfway through the process instead of showing you, well, here's what needs to be done. 
and then ta-da, it's done. <laughs> you know, maybe I'll ta-da in the next video. Hopefully my uh, voice won't be going out in the next video. But anyway, until the next one, this is Michael, K-E-4-E-S-T, 73.